Well, here it is, the new hard drive I shall install. It's the Samsung Evo 860. And uh, I chose in the size of 2 terabyte. So, let's see how this looks like. And here we have the drive. Well, it's very tiny. And uh, it seems that uh, we're not included with the SATA cable, so um, you better have one. <laughs> well, feels pretty sturdy somehow. I suppose it's just a few chips inside, but doesn't hurt to have a nice cover like this. It's supposed to be pretty reliable and I hope it is because I'm going to use uh, it a lot and write and read a lot of data from it, uh, you know, as I'm recording stuff. Well, first step to install it in the computer is to have it in a nice safe place. So we have this little rack from our computer and it's a little bit big. Fortunately, we have this little metal thing here, which we can put inside the bigger rack. Well, it's now fastened with uh, two screws. It's a certain type, so hope you have that type. It's not very important, it won't spin around a little bit, but you don't want it to bash around. So now it's uh, basically fastened in this little tray here. You can put it in this little tray here, and now we're ready to insert it. Power off and unplug your computer. Here on the motherboard, you can see this. This is a SATA connector, or serial ATA. Now this is the data connector uh, we will be using for this drive. It might be different if you bought an M2 drive, which you'll need to insert it in the M2 slot, but this is a serial ATA drive. And here on the SATA Express, it's a different types of speeds. SATA Express is one of the quicker ones. We have SATA 3, which is 6 gigabit per second. That is also something you want to use. If you have serial uh, ATA 1, which this cable goes to, which is obstructed here, it goes to my DVD writer and it's serial ATA 1. And that is a bit slow for like modern hard drives. So make sure it's uh, serial ATA 3, SATA Express, or one of the quicker ones. Insert a little cable there. Just like that. Alright, and now we see the hardware cabinet here. We can drag out this. This is my current uh, little hard drive. You can see it right there. It's connected with power and a serial ATA cable. Let's put this back in securely. Expose the uh, serial ATA cable we connected and the power. We bring the new hard drive and connect them up. Now we can insert this one securely. And there, the SSD is installed in the system. So let's close this computer up and turn it on. In this little manual here, you can see some basic instructions for M.2 SSD installation, if that is the type you got. When we start the computer, we can first check if the drive even exists and if it's even working. Now, right click your Windows and Select Control Panel or find it by search. In Control Panel, you just search for disk, and here you can see Create and Former Hardware Disk Partitions. Launch that. Here we can see we have the disk 1, which is this one here, unallocated. This is the SSD and it's connected and working. Here you can see all your disks and DVD or CD ROM drives. Now when we have installed the hard drive, we will also need to format it to be able to use it. Now this is only if you want to use your hard drive as an extra drive. Uh, if you want to swap your boot drive and make your SSD drive to uh, your boot drive instead, you should watch my tutorial on how to migrate your HD or hard drive uh, to your SSD drive instead. But if we just want to use it as a normal storage drive, what we do is we go into disk management here again, we right click this little drive, that's the new one, and click new simple volume. Then we click next, and we can set the maximum, and just next, assign whatever letter you want, and click next. NTFS is what you want for Windows, quick format, next, and then you click finish. Then you just let it run and you will be able to use your new drive as a nice storage drive. 
I'm actually going to swap my drives, so I will do that instead. But it's pretty straightforward to just set up a new volume there. Also, you can leave around 10 to 15% unallocated that means you won't set up the entire volume you know uh, so you go here and you just deduct 10% uh, from this um, use a calculator to help you with this uh, if you do this it's called over provisioning and it will also increase the lifetime of the drive if you use a Samsung drive you can also use a Samsung magician to do this same thing and just select the percentage inside that software in any case, I'll see you in future videos. This is Jim Adesim, Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.